Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a honeycomb pattern today on Photoshop. A lot of you might ask, what is a honeycomb? This right here is a honeycomb. Obviously, this is what we're going to be creating. Very simple to create. All right. Basically, you want to start off, go ahead and just start a new document. It doesn't matter what size you start it. I'm going to go ahead and just do default Photoshop size. 7x5 transparent. Mm. Alright. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and grab your shape tool. You, see the broken top of the that? you want the polygon. You want to make sure your sides appear on 6. Alright. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and you're going to draw a polygon. And try and get it out as straight as possible as you can. So about right there. Alright. Go ahead and size it down. Press the shift button when sizing. It constrains your proportions no matter where you go. Go ahead and make it something about right there. Alright. And what you're going to do is go ahead and hit Command J. And then go ahead and Command J or Control J and you can duplicate your layer. Alright. But before I do that, I went a step too far. What you're going to do is you want to add a stroke to them. Do one pixel stroke. Do your stroke about between white and black over on the left. Just like a gray tone. And once you have that, you want to go ahead and copy that layer style. Put it on that layer style. Alright, and then just go ahead and hit Command J or Control J. Control J if you're on a PC, Command J if you're on a Mac. Duplicate it. You want to go over with it. Till you have something like that. Then what you're going to do is you want to highlight the top layer, go ahead and press shift, highlight all layers, go ahead and go layer, duplicate layers. Hit OK, and it duplicates all of them. Then you're going to get your move tool and move them down, just like you see right there. It moves all four of them. Don't unclick the layers. All right. What we're going to do is go ahead and go up a little bit. You want to put them together like you see here, line them all up. Then you want to hit layer, duplicate layers again. And go ahead and move them down. And go ahead and do the same thing. Go ahead and use the up arrows and down arrows so you can get precise measuring. Once you have that, you should have something like this. Now here, what you're going to do is you want to go ahead and zoom in. By zooming in, you can go ahead and zoom in all the way like that. What you're going to do is you want to get the marquee tool, the square marquee tool. You're going to want to go ahead and go about right here. And go ahead and do something like that. Your line should be all lined up just like you see right here. If they're all lined up just like that. You should go ahead and mark this. You want it to where you basically have a honeycomb here in the pattern middle. What you're going to want to do now is go ahead and go to edit, define pattern. It's going to come up right here. It's going to ask for the pattern name. You're going to go ahead and type in honeycomb or whatever you like to name it. Honeycomb, honeycomb tut That's what I'm going to be naming this. All right. And that pattern should be done. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and create a new layer to test this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to actual pixels. And I'm going to get the paint bucket tool. Go ahead and fill in my background here. The new layer. I'm going to go double click and get my layer style. Click on pattern overlay. And this one right here should be... There we go. There's the one we just made. And we just created a honeycomb effect. Alright, um, if you have any questions, you know, you just play around with it until you get it right, or the sizing down, you just size them, so forth, and whatever you like until you get what you want. You know, I've done several different ones, and do whichever one you feel suits you the best. And other than that, that's done for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or any comments on what I should do next, let me know, and I'll get a video up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe.